The referee is Stephen Martin, two games in charge of Derby this season, and it will be Sheffield Wednesday to get us underway in their green shirts, white shorts and green socks, kicking from left to right as we watch from the west stand, that is away from the north stand towards the south stand, Derby County in their famous white, black and white, defending the goal away to our right-hand side. I'll run you through the two sides in case you missed the news earlier when there is the first break in play, but it is the Owls trying to build the first meaningful attack of the game. Here is right-back Moses Odebajo on this near side, the right. Tom Lawrence went to meet him and fouls Odebajo with 34 seconds on the clock and Sheffield Wednesday have the first free kick of the game. Sheffield Wednesday can move it quickly forward once again, making progress on that far side there left. Harris running at Bogle, now level with the edge of the penalty area, around from Bogle, three to aim for in the middle. Bogle, to his credit, got back to Harris, but at the expense of another Sheffield Wednesday corner. An in-swinger from Barry Bannon, good one, Hamer punches away from just underneath his crossbar. Back to the corner taker, Bannon, just about kept it in play, despite the protestations from those close to it in the west stand the ball in towards Fletcher controls and can't oh. get the shot away Davis under pressure the right foot shot by Fox oh. blocked away by Forsyth unsure defending from the Rams another Wednesday corner and they are knocking on the door Rams nil Sheffield Wednesday nil and watching the game repeat the pattern that we've seen over the last 20 minutes with Derby loose in possession but they have the chance now Knight turns gets away from three Sheffield Wednesday players Lawrence is then closed down quickly Malone directly into the feet of Martin, who's surely being fouled by Iorfa. Martin gives him a little slap in the face. It was on a badjo, actually. Referee saw it, quite happy for play to continue. And continue it does on that far side, the right. Bogle to the feet of Knight. Captain Davis. And now Evans on the right-hand side of the centre circle. Centrally to Lawrence and back to Evans again. There is a stoppage in play here because Chris Martin and Moses Odebajo have crashed into one another. Both are looking innocent. Now they square up to one another. Stephen Martin, the referee, comes in between both of them and nearly falls over himself. For Sy, that's a oh. risky pass. Holmes wasn't looking. Bannon intercepts. Fletcher on the edge. Fletcher's oh. first time shot goal. Sheffield Wednesday lead. And Derby County have gift-wrapped an early Christmas present to the Owls given away so sloppily in midfield a simple ball from Bannon to Fletcher who strokes it in to the bottom corner to make it Derby nil Sheffield Wednesday 1 goal number 11 for Stephen Fletcher it was well taken on the edge of the Rams penalty area but he should never have been afforded the opportunity so loose with the ball Holmes wasn't watching Bannon to Fletcher and that was job done here is Holmes towards the edge of the penalty area little ball through it might drop to Knight here crowd wanted him to shoot from 35 yards out he was in a central position and you can hear the agitation from the crowd they did want the shot Bogle beats his man he's into the penalty area no one there for the pullback and it was simple in the end for Hutchinson to clear Whitaker has to get back to Bannon the ball breaks oh. towards Rhodes who is clearly fouled by Evans and Sheffield Wednesday have a free kick on that far side there left as they kick from left to right they lead 1-0 and we play 24 minutes Brentford lead Cardiff by a goal to nil in one of the other championship games Brentford won Cardiff nil and in the Champions League Bayern Munich lead in Germany against Tottenham Bayern Munich won Tottenham nil earlier it finished Dinamo Zagreb 1 Manchester City 4 flag up here on the far side in the Sheffield Wednesday half Martin was just offside and the away side will have this free kick another ball pumped high and long into the Derby penalty area headed away only as far as Bannon then it's coaxed into the penalty area nicely headed over by Iorfa Holmes with the outside of his right foot looking for the run of Lawrence Evans in midfield the ball forward is just not on for him so has to go back but every time the Rams have the ball they appear to be under so much pressure straight away for Scythe now ambling out of defence not an easy ball for Malone to control Malone has this throw which is level with the edge of the Sheffield Wednesday penalty area near side the left Derby kicking from right to left in their white shirts Davis inside the centre circle stroked to that far side the right and the gloved Bogle to Davis once again and now Evans for Scythe back inside the Derby half for Scythe wanders into Wednesday territory direct ball to Martin better Lawrence with the layoff onto his left foot back onto his right edge of the area great run Tom Lawrence ended by Lees who did well to stand up to the Lawrence strike but a little bit of endeavour there from Derby County who now need to make sure they are defensively switched on 
Harris coming forward again far side the left Rhodes beaten to it by Davis and the Owls have a throw Sheffield Wednesday lead this game by one goal to nil Stephen Fletcher's 11th of the season and we played 33 minutes on BBC Radio Derby. Martin battling away with Iorfa. It breaks to Knight now, who has space to frolic into over the halfway line. Oh, the 1-2 with Lawrence, but the 2 was way over hit. And it's out of play for another Sheffield Wednesday throw. The Rams need something, Oof. ideally before half-time. Five minutes to play of normal time. And the Rams trail 1-0. Several fans heading down to the concourse to beat the half-time rush here's Malone very close to the Wednesday corner flag digs a decent looking ball out but straight into the hands of Cameron Dawson Odebajo's throw as we creep into the second minute of the four added on at the end of this first half Derby nil Sheffield Wednesday one Bogle Martin flicked on this will break for Lawrence maybe there is a final flurry for Derby Lawrence onto his right foot flicked in towards Knight it'll drop to Malone left hand side of the penalty area needs help Evans comes to support rolls his foot over the ball and goes back to Forsyth square it goes to Davis and you can hear from those that are still in their seats plenty have decided that that's it for the first half Forsyth Knight and Forsyth once again left hand side of the centre circle inside the Sheffield Wednesday half that's loose from Forsyth Malone gets in Knight's way the left back retrieves it well however Evans with the big diagonal looking for Bogle Harris will jump with him Harris wins the header Bogle will let this drop out of play and Derby have a throw six yards away from the corner flag on that far side the right as they kick from right to left Holmes will take this long throw we have a minute and ten seconds of stoppage time at the end of this first half to play what a good time it would be for Derby to score Holmes hurls it in towards the edge of the box it goes further into the penalty area Fox heads it away and the diminutive Holmes will pick it up once again on that far side the right another long throw into the penalty area Forsyth goes for it headed away Harris only as far as Knight urged to shoot does shoot over the bar left-footed always rising Sheffield Wednesday goal kick Dawson with another really unconvincing clearance spirals into the sky Davis puffs his chest out and says that's mine and the captain has it now pokes it towards Whitaker, and then it fell to Martin cleared downfield by Fox Bogle will keep this in on this near side the right just in front of Philip Koku Whitaker, nice footwork away from Hutchinson and Bogle is in on the right hand side away from Fox low ball in just in front of Knight into the hands of Dawson much much brighter from Derby at the start of this second half this is BBC Radio Derby at Pride Park 47 minutes played it's nil one Sheffield Wednesday lead this game no changes at half time incidentally so it is the same 22 that started the game Hamer in goal for Derby Bogle Davis for Scythe Malone as a free kick is given against Derby County inside the centre circle Evans Knight and Holmes Whitaker, Martin Lawrence and for Sheffield Wednesday, Dawson, Odebajo, Iorfa, Lees, Fox, Reach, Hutchinson, Bannon, Harris, Rhodes, and goal scorer Fletcher. Whitaker went barreling into Bannon and concedes the free kick. Another sign of the extra intent. And they get listened to the crowd. It's just woken them up a little bit. It's been a Chef Wednesday, that is, Chris. It doesn't matter who it wakes <laughs> up, does it? As long as there's noise. The ball into the Rams penalty area. Knight boots it away from just inside the Rams box the ball on halfway Harris touch was heavy has to play it all the way back to Hutchinson who in turn will sweep the responsibility to Dawson who once again his kicking is really unsteady but it does go over the halfway line Martin tries to win the ball Holmes will pick this up under no pressure has space to turn now Lawrence back to Holmes whose left foot touch was poor those moments when you're playing well work out, don't they? When you're not, they just bounce off you. Yeah. Holmes leans against the hoardings and then runs to throw. In it goes, headed up rather than out. Davis nods down. It's pinball inside the box. It took a nick off a green shirt last. And it's another corner to Derby County. 66 played. The Rams nil, Sheffield Wednesday won. And now the fans all stand and all applaud to pay tribute to Jim Smith who died yesterday at the age of 79, a Rams legend, a Sheffield Wednesday fan, and it is the away side moving forward now, Malone as well, gets his body in between man and ball, and it's a goal kick to Derby County. And those that are here, all in the south stand, everywhere we look, clapping their hands, they enjoyed some glorious football for those six years, 95 to 2001. Only one Jim Smith now echoes around Pride Park he will be greatly missed but his time here will never ever be forgotten 
the players that played, the football that was on display and also the achievements, promotion and a top 10 finish. So many memories and just so much warmth from everyone towards him. Can that be the catalyst now for Derby to get back in this game? 10 minutes to play. Here is Lawrence to Marriott, takes it nicely. Whack on, it's so untidy, but Mary gets the wrong side of Odebajo. It is a penalty to Derby County. Jack Marriott wins the Rams a penalty. Well, he got the wrong side of Odebajo. It was clumsy, the whole move was clumsy, but it was just Marriott's persistence. He never gave it up. And Odebajo went down, it did look clumsy. Referee points to the spot. And what a huge moment this could be for Derby County. We are in the 82nd minute. The fans still really buoyed by that minute's applause for Jim Smith. Chris Martin, three goals this season with the responsibility of getting Derby back on level terms. It's Chris Martin, it's 1-1. Was there ever any doubt? Chris Martin fires it into the bottom left-hand corner. Derby County have an equaliser and they have eight minutes to take all three points. Derby won, Sheffield Wednesday won. Suddenly they're full of confidence. Waghorn charging down Iorfa. It's a very loose header in midfield and Evans picks it up. Away from Hutchinson who is now on a yellow card. Malone, Evans and now Forsyth. You just didn't really see it coming. It was a much better performance from Derby in the second half but they hadn't really tested Dawson until Marriott won the penalty, which Martin converted. Hamer over this free kick. It's almost on the halfway line. Quality needs to be good. Dawson will stay where he is. That's a good free kick. Davis wins his header. Marriott misses oh. his kick. That, in his book, is half a chance. But there is the full-time whistle. And it ends. Derby County won. Sheffield Wednesday won. A significant improvement from the Rams in that second half. And they got that equaliser courtesy of Chris Martin's penalty, but it followed a pretty abject first half for Derby in which they fell behind after Stephen Fletcher got the goal. It was a terrible mistake from Derby. They gave it away. Fletcher did the rest. Improvement in the second half. A bit more energy, a bit more desire. Jack Marriott coming on. He won the penalty. Odebajo clumsily bringing the striker down. Martin converted low into the bottom left corner. And once Odebajo had been sent off in the 90th minute, it was all Derby. They did have half chances. Marriott had a header cleared off the line. They were close from the resulting corner as well. But in the end, Derby had to settle for a point. It makes it nine games unbeaten at Pride Park. Still the sense that there is much more to come from this side. Full-time, Derby County 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1.